Well, hello there. I'm Brady with Smarty Streets. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the basics on how to use the USPS Web API in C Sharp. The USPS Address Validation System API is a bit of a dinosaur. It's not sexy. But if you really wanna use it, we will show you how to do that in this video. If you want an easier, simpler way to validate USPS and international addresses, you should check out smartestreets.com. We're really the best in the business. And we have a video you can check out right here. All right, before we jump into anything, let's first talk about how we use the USPS Web APIs. Okay, so first off, the USPS provides three API services. Address standardization, which validates an address and then returns the standardized version of that address along with some other helpful metadata. There's the zip code lookup, which is a simplified version of the standardization API, but it returns the zip code and zip plus four for a specific address. And finally, the city state lookup, which will return the city and state associated with a specified zip code. Each one of these APIs will accept up to five requests at a time. The documentation and other helpful links are available in the video description below. But that's enough talk from me. Let's jump into the code. Okay, starting off, we're gonna go to registration.shippingapis.com. You're gonna fill out that form and submit it, and then you'll receive a user ID. Um, all three APIs are, are similar to call, with just a few minor differences in the request and response data. Uh, in this video, we're just gonna be going over the address standardization API. All right, let's get to it. I've already created a sample project and a new c -sharp source file that we can get started with. Okay, woodchuck chuckers. Uh, we're gonna be using a simple web client class in system.net to do the HTTP requests. And uh, since the USPS API only uses XML, we need to use the XML link library. Okay, let's first create a standard class template for our code. There we are. Look at that thing. It's a work of, work of art. Look at those curly boys. The majority of the code is used to build and parse XML. So we're going to move through that fairly quickly. Good old XML. It's just one step above punch cards. Okay, now we will build the request XML document. For all those out there that look at the text editor and uh, they see just a blank canvas for a, and a way for you to create beautiful looking code, I'll tell you what, it's gonna take a little bit of extra effort to do so in XML. It kind of feels like trying to read French poetry in a thick Japanese accent. All USPS APIs are get requests with the XML request doc on the query string. I know it's weird. Oh, don't put the XML in the query string but that's just how the USPS does it. Uh, for the URL and specs on the request and response docs, um, you can just look at the documentation from the link in the video description. Okay, now we just need to parse the response, which is also, you guessed it, XML! And, you know, we're just gonna blaze through this here because, um, hey, who the heck wants to see this over and over and over again? Now let's just uh, get you an overview of the entire sample program. There we are. All right, so here's where you put in your user ID when you get it from USPS. And that's it. Uh, when we run this, we're going to see an overview of the request and response docs. And uh, just, just keep in mind that in this example, we included a request for just one address. And the USPS API will allow up to five addresses per request. And as I mentioned before, the, there are two other APIs um, that ha only have a few minor differences in the request and response docs and the URL. And that is how you use USPS Address Verification APIs. If after using the USPS APIs and you've decided you've had enough XML, uh, definitely check out the Smarty Streets APIs and give them a shot for your USPS and international address validation. All of the Smarty Streets APIs are fully documented, 
fully supported and much, much easier to implement. And the data comes back to you uh, in a very, very lovely JSON format. Best of all, it's very low risk. You can try Smarty Streets for free. Just sign up for an account. Uh, the link is in the description. And you can get 250 lookups every month for absolutely nothing. Boom! And that's the end of our tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please give us a thumbs up, and we will see you next time.